Don't touch that dial. Watch this exciting scene from today's four-part story of Underdog. Here it comes now. Wait! Stop that, you harebrained Hercules! You're shaking my whole building apart! With my tenants inside! All right, sir, I won't shake your place. I'll fight Simon face to face. <laughs> Be careful, underdog. Watch out for the snow gun. All right, Simon, you've had your fun. Now I'm stopping you and your snow gun. No one can stop the snow gun, not even you. Simon says, go snow. I feel the snow, but on I go. Simon says, go snow. Shine, sir? Yes, indeed. A bright sunny day is the perfect time for a shine. It is indeed a most beautiful summer day. Yes, sir. A clear sky with only a few fluffy white clouds. Snowball? But, sir, that is impossible. A snowball, I tell you. I know a snowball when I feel one. But we must be logical, sir. We know that on a bright summer day, it would never snow. Oh, no? Snow in the summer? What could it mean? The answer lay in the diabolical laboratory of Simon Bar Sinister. <laughs> My snow gun works. Yeah, boss. But what good is a snow gun? <laughs> Watch, Chad, and you shall see. Watch that postman as he approaches. Simon says, go snow. A snowman. You turned him into a snowman. Exactly. And the entire city shall do as Simon says, or I shall turn everyone into snowmen and snowwomen. Gee. Come, Cad. We must go out and demonstrate the power of my new weapon. Hello, this is Sweet Polly Purebred, your television news reporter. What can I do for you? What's that? You just saw a snowman? In the summertime? I'll be right out. My, what a wonderful story. I hope they aren't snowing me. Snow in the summertime. That could make an interesting news story. I'd better run up and tell Sweet Polly. <laughs> Are you hurt, sweet Polly? No, thank goodness. I was hurrying to bring you a news story about... I haven't time now, Shoeshine. Someone just reported seeing a snowman out in Eastwood. First, I was hit by snow, and now sweet Polly says someone has seen a snowman. All on a hot summer day. This looks like a job for... Underdog. Snow in the summer? I wonder why. I'd better go up and search the sky. While Underdog was going sky high, Simon Bar Sinister was arriving at the Two Cent Savings Bank. Simon says, hands up! Give me all your money. You can't get away with this. The police will catch you, you thief! <laughs> you are only the first. All the city will do, as Simon says, or be turned into snowmen and snowwomen. Then you'll have to answer to Underdog. 
<laughs> and not even underdog can withstand my snow gun. <laughs> I'll snow everyone. <laughs> can Simon Bar Sinister really snow the entire city? Will even underdog be helpless against Simon's snow gun? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. The sinister Simon Bar Sinister had invented a diabolical new weapon, a snow gun. And now he was demonstrating its power by holding up a bank. Simon says, give me all your money. Gods, gods, stop him. Simon says, go snow. Oh no, he's turned them into snowmen. I must reach the burglar alarm. Simon says, go snow. <laughs> and now, all this lovely money. And this is only the beginning. A cry for help comes from below, so hip, 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 and down I go. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Oh, Underdog, thank goodness you've come. Simon Bar Sinister has robbed the bank, and he turned the guards and the bank president into snowmen. It's true they seem to be snowmen now, but if Simon did it, pray tell how. With a new weapon, a snow gun. And that explains the summer snow. Now tell me, which way did Simon go? That way! That way! That way. Underdog took off in all directions. Simon was entering a palatial mansion where a dance party was going on. Simon says, go snow. Purebred had just arrived where the first snowman had been reported. It is a snowman in the middle of summer. I wonder if the people who live here can tell me anything. Little did Sweet Polly know that this was actually the laboratory of the fiendish Simon Bar Sinister. No one seems to answer. Perhaps they're asleep. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, my, what a Spooky-looking old house. Oh, why? Why, this looks like the laboratory of some mad scientist. Here yeah, come, Cad. We have work to do. Yes, Cad. Now I shall be ruler of the world. With my snow gun, no one can stop me. Everyone. She'll do as Simon says, or I shall turn everyone into snowmen and snow... Ah. Simon says, come out, come out, whoever you are. Simon Bar Sinister, you beast, you fiend. Sweet Polly Purebred. What could be more perfect? You shall be my most beautiful snow woman. <laughs> Is this the end for sweet Polly purebred? Will she really be snowed? There's spine-tingling action ahead in our next episode. You'll see all of this underdog adventure complete on today's show. And in weeks to come, you'll be seeing exciting scenes like this.
purebred, while investigating rumors of a snowman in July, had fallen into the clutches of Simon Bar Sinister and his snow gun. Help! Help! <laughs> you shall be my most beautiful snow woman. <laughs> Prepare yourself, Simon says. Hey, boss, I got an idea. Impossible. Yeah. Why not send this here sweet Polly back to a TV show and let her tell the whole city to give up? Or else, you'll snow them all! Ooh, wonderful, Cad. My boy, you're becoming almost as sinister as I am. <laughs> Come along, sweet Polly. We have work for you. Help! Meanwhile, high in the sky, the fearless underdog was searching desperately for Simon Bar Sinister. His laboratory is down below, so hit, 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 then away I go. There's no need to fear, underdog is here. Yoo-hoo, Simon, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. I have come to capture you. But Underdog was all alone. And in the heart of the city, at the bottom of the city's tallest building, Sweet Polly was telling her TV audience... Oh, dear viewers, atop this very building is the fiend, Simon Bar Sinister, with his snow gun. Unless the city does just as Simon says, he will turn everyone into snowmen and snowwomen. <laughs> I want money and power! And money and power! And money and power! Yes, dear viewers. It seems that all is lost. Oh, where is our hero? Where, oh, where has my underdog gone? Oh, where, oh, where has he gone? With my ultrasonic ears, I hear a cry for help from Polly, dear. <laughs> Save the town. I'll stop Simon with a real shakedown. And true to his word, Underdog grasped the tall building and began shaking it wildly. Wait! Stop that, you harebrained Hercules! You're shaking my whole building apart with my tenants inside! All right, sir, I won't shake your place. I'll fight Simon face to face. <laughs> Be careful, underdog. Watch out for the snow gun. All right, Simon, you've had your fun. Now I'm stopping you and your snow gun. No one can stop the snow gun, not even you. Simon says, go snow. I feel the snow, but on I go. Simon says, go snow! Go snow! Go snow! Go snow! Look, boss, you got him! You stopped on the dog! Look, he snowed underdog! Now all is lost! Run for your lives! He's falling this way! Oh, woe is me! Nothing can save us now! Yes, it looked like the end for Underdog and the city. Is Underdog really finished? Is there no hope for our mighty hero? The amazing answer lies ahead in our next episode. underdog had been knocked out of the sky, 
Simon Bar Sinister's snow gun had turned Underdog into a helpless snowman and sent him zooming toward the ground. Run for your lives, he's falling this way. Oh, no. I can't look. My poor, poor underdog. Maybe we could defrost him. Come on, everybody. Give us a hand. So they tried to defrost the snowy underdog. They tried heated fire hoses. But that failed. So they tried salt to melt the snow. But again, failure. Finally, they even tried heating the icy underdog over a fire. But nothing worked. It's no use. <laughs> this is the end of underdog. And of us as well. Now, Simon Bar Sinister will rule us all. All right, my slaves. Put all your money in jewels in front of that building. Then, go home and wait for my orders. If you don't do just as Simon says, we will get this. It seemed there was nothing, nothing in the world which could stop Simon Bar Sinister and his snow gun. But then... Look, look there. Oh, no. All alone, with help from no one, Underdog was defrosting. But Underdog, how? Oh, how did you do it? We thought the snow gun had finished you. <laughs> well, that snow gun stopped me frostily, but my radiant heat defrosted me. But what of Simon? How will you stop him? If at first you fail your deed, try again till you succeed. Hey, boss, look at there. Underdog is back again. And back? Hmm. <laughs> well, who cares? The snow gun stopped him before and it can do it again. Simon says, go snow. Simon had not reckoned with Underdog's amazing speed. Underdog dodged the ray by zooming around and around the top of the building. There he is, boss. No, there. Uh, over there. Uh, no, over there. Uh. Faster and faster sped Underdog. And as Simon and Cad went round and round trying to aim the snow gun, they got dizzier and dizzier and dizzier until finally... Here's Simon and Cad and the snow gun, too. Put them in jail where they can't harm you. But, Underdog, what about all the poor people that Simon snowed? Like this. Will they never be the same again? By atomic breath, I promise you, we'll defrost them all as good as new. Look in the sky. It's a plane. It's a boy. It's a frog. A frog? Not plane or bird or even frog. It's just little old me. Underdog. <laughs> Underdog. Now, as our hero of heroes goes about his everyday good deeds, we're glad to know that in today's story, somehow, Underdog came through again. But what about next week? Here's a scene from next week's show. Get me clock, boat, coat, gun, gun, chain, ram, bam, and Seymour. Bring me this dog of an underdog. Nine saucers are approaching again, but this time our heroic underdog is ready for them. We didn't bring.
bring him, Highness. 